yeah, speaking of can things get any worse, I don't know what we thought this Monday night football matchup would be on this, again, pseudo holiday weekend here. But I wish they would have scheduled something a little bit better than the seven and seven Dolphins at the seven and seven Saints. But here we are. Um, Dolphins favored at a point and a half on the road. I'm on the Saints here. I don't really like it. I'm reluctantly on the Saints uh, just because of their defense. And, you know, their defense put up a put up a big fight last week. And I know they get up for the Tom Brady game. And mm. so there's definitely let down potential. But I'm on the Saints. And it's really just because I I'm almost fading the Dol- like the Dolphins just are a mirage to me. The Tua thing. Okay. Remember when everyone was trying to talk us into Tua being amazing like a couple weeks ago? Is he really great? You know, like that no. was a thing that lasted maybe two weeks. Whatever. <laughs> I really don't care about this game. I'm going to be really honest with you. I'm going to bet this game because it's Monday night and there's going to be nothing else for me to do. Yeah. <laughs> right. So yeah. that's where I'm at here. Reluctantly on the saints, but I don't like it. It's funny, right? Like you're like, yeah, well, how do we get this game? Then you quote the records and I'm like, that's actually not as bad as I thought, right? Like seven and seven saints and seven and seven dolphins. I was like, Oh, it could have been a lot worse than those two records, True. right? Like, mm-hmm. obviously, expectations a little bit higher for both teams at the start of the season. Mm-hmm. Certainly, after they first started, you know, they both started one and zero. Oh. Um, what are we missing, or like, what are, you know, what are we missing out on? We're missing out on Value Town. We were going to yeah. take a trip to Value Town with the Dolphins. They were plus three at one point in this game, and because of okay. all this nonsense, and because I can't make a bet early on in the week because you just don't know what's going to happen and it always seems to go the wrong way this is one that would have gone the right way if i had just grabbed the the plus three here because i didn't understand why the dolphins would be plus three because you're you know as much as you're right like there's nothing to write home about when it comes to to, tua and this dolphins team like they're at least fundamentally decent and they actually i think match up better offensively than the Bucks do because they're not going to try too hard, right? They're going to set up Tua with some easy throws. With, they're going to scheme stuff up, and it's not just going to be reliant on Tom Brady to make you know tight window type throws or adjustments at the line of scrimmage, right? Like this team is going to do it much more. You know, you're not going to see third and two. Let's just bomb it to Gronk when it comes to the Dolphins, right? You're going to see third and two. Let's throw a five yard pass to Jalen Waddle, who by the way, was out of that game last week against the Jets. Right. And so I like the Dolphins at plus three. Now we got your boy Ian book from former Notre Dame quarterback who looks to be starting for the saints but watch out malcolm perry former dolphin is on the saints roster watch out we might see some Taysom hill plays run for from the speedy malcolm perry former navy quarterback so you know that's what he does so this might get mega janky come monday when sean payton's just back and he's up to stuff and he's drawing up plays but we've hoped for that out of payton before especially in prime yeah. time against the cowboys against the bills now again cowboys and bills probably a more a higher echelon team at least in our perception because they're a more explosive team than the dolphins but i don't even really know right now if those two teams are that much better than the dolphins are just from a fundamental standpoint the dolphins could just not let the saints score in this game like that is a possibility in this one with ian book as the quarterback because if ian book was any good he would be the starting quarterback, right? Trevor Simeon isn't anybody's idea of the future. And if Ian Book was anybody's idea of the future, Ian Book would have gotten gotten an opportunity at some point earlier than now in this season. And so he gets the opportunity. I just don't think that's going to work for the Saints here. This is going to be an incredibly low scoring game as indicated by the fact that this total is in the low 30s right now, below 30s for this game so this could very easily be 13 to 3 for the dolphins and so i don't think this has been adjusted enough because i like the dolphins to win this game when the line was plus three and it was going to be on the money line and it was obviously going to be taking the three points and so now the unfortunate part is we're we're having to pay a little bit for the money line right it's minus 120 minus 125 for the money line so i'll just take that minus one minus one and a half here with the dolphins and think they get this road win against the saints team flying high after last week they scored nine points last week 
You know, like they can score, they can score nine again. And honestly, like that might be the best case scenario here for the Saints, unless they crack some sort of big trick play along the way here. I like the Dolphins. I was going to bet the Dolphins to win this game. I was getting plus 140. Now the good news is I don't have to deal with Taysom Hill. You know, at least that's something. So I'll I'll bet the minus one and a half here against Ian Book uh, and, and see the Dolphins hopefully get a, a nice, comfortable victory on Monday night. All right, fins up. I mean, you convince me. But sometimes it's just that simple. It happens. I mean, fading Ian Book shouldn't be something that takes a ton of convincing to a person. So I can see how you would flip in this case. <laughs>